Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Holy smoke, I'm back. I'm recording a video. I'm in front of the camera. What do you know? This is crazy. Like, what's going on here? What is this crazy nonsense? I've been away for a few days yet again. Excuses? Don't have any good ones. So all I can do is say I am sorry. Um, I will continue to strive to do better. And that will probably... That'll, that'll put me on track for a while, and then I'm sure I'll fall off the train yet again, because I seem to inevitably do just that. So, please forgive me, and please have grace on me. Come in the side, the shta. And if you, if, you, if you won't forgive me, well, that makes me kind of sad. But, totally your call. And since I keep on failing, I can kind of understand why you would. Anyway, on to the message. This is a Bible message video, so let's do some Bible here. Coming at you with Psalm 80, and I'm going to start at verse 1. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who dwell between the cherubim. Shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your strength and come and save us. Now, I could definitely go into another discussion on how People are always calling out to God for help, on how Christians are always calling out to God for help, on how the psalmists keep calling out to God for help. But that's not my emphasis here. I'm looking at the Joseph, Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh, all the different tribes of Israel. There were 13 tribes in total. Um, Levi was not counted among the 12 tribes of Israel. That was the priestly assistance tribe. That's what I'm going to call them, Levi. They were devoted to the tabernacle and the temple of God, and they helped a specific family, the family of Aaron, the Levite, within their, within their tribe. Aaron and his sons, they became the priests. The Levites, they became the assistants of the priests and the caretakers of the priests and the tabernacle. So they weren't counted among the rest of the tribes of Israel because the Lord was their inheritance and he was their lot. Then you have the other 12 tribes of Israel. Well, if Jacob had 12 sons, why are there still 12 tribes when one of those tribes is now devoted to the tabernacle and the priesthood? That's because Joseph, his sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, mentioned here, they both got a tribe. There was no tribe of Joseph. There were two tribes, a tribe of Manasseh and a tribe of Ephraim. Thus, the 12 tribes of Israel as we know them. And while it's not an exact parallel, what they're reminding me of today was how the Christian church has so many different denominations. Um, I'm not a nominational, which is, that sounds incredibly noncommittal. I guess if you were to nail me to a camp, charismatic would be the most accurate of the camps I fall into. And most charismatic churches are non-denominational by nature. But that does include a belief in the gifts of the Spirit today. It usually, um, as far as the governance of the church, Pretty much the pastor is in charge of the of the church that I go to. He has a board of elders to help keep him accountable as far as fiscally and as far as some of the other activities of the church. But the pastor has much more of a free reign, whereas there are other denominations where it's ruled from the top down. Maybe, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, archbishop, bishop, and then you go down the line. Some churches are ruled uh, more like a, by a democratic vote. Uh, the Baptist church that I was saved in, uh, the deacons, and the pastor got one vote, the rest of the deacons got a vote, and in many, many cases, the entire congregation would vote on it in a Wednesday night business meeting. Oh, those were the times back in the day. Back in the day when I didn't even know what the heck was going on. <laughs> so many Christian denominations... The last record I heard was so many years ago, and I want to say there were like over 20,000 some denominations. I'm not even joking. That many. And this isn't a message so much on the, separ the separation uh, and the splits within the church. What I want to focus on is the fact that he is the God of all of us. He's the God of all those denominations. Any denomination that calls on the name of Jesus is a Christian denomination. Okay, there are some exceptions. Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons who do not believe in the deity of Jesus Christ. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in the deity of Jesus Christ. The Mormons will say that Jesus was God. Um, and they'll also say that all of us, if we follow their rules correctly, will one day ourselves become gods like him. And that is also not correct. So not all Christian denominations 
are those are just two examples they're not the only ones not all christian denominations are actually christian but a very good number of them who believe that jesus is god it's salvation by the grace that god that god jesus christ showed us on the cross and then rose again three days later a lot of these denominations are christians a lot of these denominations are saved and that's something i wanted to really bring attention to because Sometimes we kind of lose sight of that. We focus on our group, on the people who believe the same way we do. I just want us to keep an open mind that God wants to save all of us. And indeed, he will save all, every single person who calls out to his name. He's not coming for a denomination. He's coming for his church. Whether you call yourself a Baptist or a Methodist or a Lutheran or a Charismatic or a Pentecostal. And all... Admit, all those other 20,000 some denominations, again, there are some that have really aberrant beliefs. The Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses are just two examples. But God wants to call upon and save all of them, all these people. And those who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, He is their God. He is their Lord and Savior. We need to remember in the middle of all the different tribes that we have, we are indeed one nation of God. We're one people of God. Many different stripes, many different colors, many different backgrounds, many different languages. One church. One church. And I want to emphasize that for this video. Um, and hopefully this video will mark the beginning of me again being on this every day, putting out one video game video and one preaching video every single day like I had been doing and should be doing and just messed up the last several days once again. I apologize for that. I'm going to try to get back on the ball. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode, especially for those of you who made it all the way to the very end. Love you very much, and God bless.